Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. You can find me on Instagram at Nicole Makes Plans and you can find my website at NicoleMakesPlans.com. Today I wanted to do a paycheck budget closeout for my paycheck from um, July 29th. Um, I get paid bi-weekly. I'm a salaried employee. So this part of my budget spans from 7.29 to 8.11. Um, so it's like two weeks um, and I split up my bills per paycheck so I kind of pay half with one paycheck and the other half of a bill with the other paycheck so let's hop in um, so when I did my budget at first I I've made some changes so that's why you can probably see maybe some of this white out but um, information is still kind of the same so for this budget I was doing fixed expenses up here um, my variable expenses for some reason I included gas water electric because they change but now I'm using that or putting those in my fixed budget so just an addendum for that so let's hop right in um, I have my kind of like sheet that I worked this out on before up here um, so I'll be like glancing at those numbers and then calculating some stuff because um, it's a little different the way I set it up here if you want this um, definitely let me know. I just made it in like Google Docs. It's not anything that special, but if you're interested, comment below. So for um, actual amounts for mortgage, that was the same. It was 218. And I guess before I say that, my salary or paycheck is 1414. Um, and that was the same. It's what I expected. For uh, mortgage it's 218 this number comes from um, so my mortgage actually is like 871 but me and my boyfriend split it so we split it in half um, and then I split it in half again so I'm paying half of it with one paycheck and half of it with another paycheck same thing kind of for internet um, me and my boyfriend split this and then I split it between my two paychecks for my half um, so that was 13 like I expected car payment is mine it's 155 it's 308 or 309 um, for the month and then I divided by two between the paychecks so 155 was correct for phone, that's another bill that me and my boyfriend split. Um, and then I split my half between my two paychecks, so it's 25, and it actually was 25. Student loan, this was before like the announcement of student loan forgiveness, so I paid 50 toward that, and that was correct. Um, I'm changing that for future budgets, so stay tuned for that line. Um, so for this, let's calculate the total, so 218 plus 13 plus 155 plus 25 plus 50 equals 461 so that lines up there that is accurate so on this part of the budget um, I did kind of like a balance to kind of check in how much money I had left for variable expenses so I did income minus fixed um, so I'll do that again here and since these numbers are the same I know this is 553 for electric, um, for the first variable expense that I have here, it was actually 64. This is a bill that me and my boyfriend split, so I split my half between two paychecks, so 64. Um, water was a little more than I expected. It ended up being 18, um, so that is there. For gas for my house, it was 14 which is what i had expected water and gas are two bills that me and my boyfriend split so that's why that's there um for food it came to 203 so i have like my weekly check-in over here of my variable expenses that i kind of have as like digital cash envelopes on my phone in an app um so combined for the two weeks that this spans, um, I was over budget for $3 for food. I was over budget three, $6 for gas. And in my other category, um, I spent $151 of $250. So I have a positive $99 here. And that's all reflected on this side. 
So if I calculate the 64 plus 18 plus 14 plus 203 plus 56 plus 151 equals 506. So if we carry all of this down here, so income minus to fixed, which was 461, and then minus variable, which was 506. Let me calculate that. So 1414 minus 461 minus 506 equals 447. Um, so I was able to save 447 of this paycheck. So that's definitely good. And it's more than I expected. I was only expecting to save 358. Um, and then I calculate the percentage of my paycheck that that is. So I'll do 447 times 100% equals that. And then I divide that by the paycheck amount. And that gives me, I just tend to round down, but it's about 31% of my paycheck. So that is definitely good. Um, I'm going to grab my... Um, red and green pens real quick so hang on one second just because i like to see kind of like where i'm over where i'm under what i need to change for the next budget so that was the same so no change there for mortgage there was no change for internet there was no change for car payment there was no change for phone there was no change for my student loan, there was no change. Um, so this was all the same there. Um, this was no change for fixed expenses. So that was the same and what I had expected. Um, the electric bill was the same. I'm gonna fix this white out right here. Kind of a mess, but that's okay. Um, so for water, I was $1 over. So I'm gonna put a negative one there. For gas, this was no change. Um, I had already put the differences here for food, gas for my car, and other. So if I do $99 minus 6 minus 3 minus 1 equals, so that's a positive 89. And then... Down here, no change for fixed expenses. Variable expenses, there was change. So 595 minus 506 equals 89, which I knew from up here. So plus 89. And then for savings, let me do that subtraction. 558 minus 447. So again, positive 89. So all those numbers work out. And this was a positive difference of 6%, which is great. Um, so yeah, that is closing out my budget paycheck, uh, paycheck budget for July 29th. Um, overall, I would say I did pretty well. I'm not that mad that I went over in food or gas because I made up for it in the other category. Um, to clarify for other I try to rank it by importance, um, so like the most important thing would be like small bills or um, household items or um, toiletries or things like that. And then in the other category, if I have money left over or if there's some thing I really want, I try to use that money last for like fun things or things that I want and don't need. Um, so that's kind of like a clarification about my other category. Um, if you like this type of video, um, definitely give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any um, questions about the way I set up my budget or why I do the things the way I do, or if you have any suggestions for other videos I should film. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell if you want to know the next time I post a video because it's not always on the same day. But thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.